All right, this is the Grand Design Reflection 22RK. It's the new 100 series. Let's have a look. First impression for a small fifth wheel, this is pretty roomy. This is very small, uh, very short fifth wheel. But yeah, very spacious. And, and it actually has some counter space yeah. for a small RV. Come over here. Oh, no. Big storage area under the sink. Ooh. Are they soft closed? No. no, not soft closed. But there is quite a bit of storage. Yeah, and I'm thinking these are entry level. I wish they would have put some shelving in here. Yeah, that would have been nice. I think these are entry level though. Yeah. So you're not going to get all the bells and whistles of some of the other models. Basic refrigerator with... And we're cooking magazines. We're cooking brochures, yes. yes. Instead of a bread holder, it's a brochure holder this time. <laughs> Ooh, tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh yeah, it is. Very short. You can fit like a personal size. Yeah. You might get half a frozen pizza in there. Other side. 12 volt Furion. So the nice thing with the 12 volts, I know some people don't like them, they want the propane. The nice thing with the 12 volts, you don't have the fins, so you actually get a little bit more depth. That gives you more space to store food. I do like the couch. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Thomas, Thomas Paine, theater seat. Yeah. I like the material on it. And then we got some more storage okay. up here. Overhead storage above the dinette. And it goes all the way down. Does it really? Yeah. Okay, so no dead space. So that's really nice. And then you got one right here. Do you think the TV's too high? Um, I don't know. Let me sit down and take a look. It's not bad. It's not terrific. Um, yeah, it's a little high off to the left. You got storage underneath the bench as well. No floor vents I'm seeing. They're all on the side there. So no stepping on the floor vents and breaking them. Here's your power center. Digital thermostat. That's always nice. But the bathroom's not bad. Bathroom's not bad at all. Mm -mm. So I'm not the tallest in the world. I'm only 5'7", but that's... Still quite a bit of height there. This is the um, first unit that I've seen that doesn't have the skylight above the... Yeah, there's no skylight. There's just actually a light here that you can turn off, huh? Um, I'm a real big fan of the solid shower doors. The curtains just leave room for water to leak out. So, um, sideways, I just... I, I mean, if you think you're when you're lathering up, I just feel like you're going to hit elbows on this. So you'd almost have to stand sideways, lather up, and then rinse off. We got people who just came in wondering what the heck we're doing. This guy's talking about taking a shower in here. <laughs> Small closet. That must be a shoe cubby. It's got to be. Down there. But I can't bend over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so your heater vent there. I like these wall sconces. Those look nice. Any nightstands? You got little cubbies okay, there. Okay, so a little stone. bit of room under the bed, not a whole lot. Oh, you just lost the cover. Uh oh. Cheap mattress. Yeah, make the bed. We out of breath. Making the bed. Yeah. <laughs> so a little bit of cabinet. Does that go all the way back? Can you open that for me? No. No, it does very not go shallow. on. Yeah, very shallow. So you're not going to get a whole lot in there. That, that goes one back. goes all the way to the nose. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, very shallow on the sides. And then you have a TV yep. hook up there. Yep. TV. Um, who knows what size, but TV backer so you can put a wall mounted TV with your hookups and your plugs. No fan, though. So, That's interesting. Yeah, no, no fan in but the bathroom. Event. So again, this is an entry level, so you're probably not going to get a whole lot. Um, you got the dinky little fart fan in the bathroom. 
that's something you'll definitely want to upgrade. And I'm not seeing a fan out here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any ceiling fan in the living area or the kitchen. Um, you do have the Furion hood fan. That's it, though. Not a bad unit for the price. Again, it's entry level, but let's get a look at the outside. Another brochure holder. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite a bit of space. Yeah, it is. It's not huge. You're not going to get some big recliner chairs, recliner no. camping chairs in here. But that is quite a bit of space. For what it is, yeah. So. Perfect. Now, like I said, this is entry level. So you're looking at $39,000 for an entry level fifth wheel. The tongue weight, this is definitely three quarter ton towable. I'm never going to say anything's half ton towable for a fifth wheel. Four point electronic leveling. Got the Moride CRE 3000s, Goodyear endurance tires. Now we're going to sneak around back here, take a look. And that was it for storage. For the outside storage. That's all the storage That's there is. That's all there is. Okay. So they actually went through and sealed it. That's nice. A lot of the other units, they're not sealing this edge or they're just using butyl tape only. Looks like they went through and I don't know if it's the dealer that did this or if it's Grand Design that did this. It does come with the Lippard screen defender though. Yeah, I'll get that in a second. Grand design. No one's seen this. This is the first time they're out. Um, so, so got the Furion cameras? No, that's not a camera, is it? Mm, it looks like that's the bracket. So it just comes with the bracket to attach it onto. So it doesn't come with them, I guess. Lippert screen. Lippert screen defender. And also ready for a thin shade. Right, final impressions? I think it's good for the size. It's very good for the size and awesome for the price. I mean, like I said, $40,000 for a three quarter ton, e easily three quarter ton towable. Um, this is the Grand Design, Grand Design Reflection 22RK 100 series.